Developing a Leader Within You John Maxwell is an internationally recognized leadership expert and speaker. This book shares timeless principles on leadership that will have a positive change in your life and your career as a leader. Leadership is not management. Leadership is influence. Leadership is not something we're born with. It's a skill that we can all learn. If you're working at a job or in a career that requires strong people skills, this book is definitely for you. To be honest, you don't even need to be a leader or a manager to study this book. Developing the leader within you, reviews simple but powerful strategies that you can apply to achieve your goals and getting there a lot quicker. Influence He who thinks he leads and have no one following him is only taking a walk. Hence even if you have the ability to manage people and lead them to victory, but if no one wants to follow you in the first place, you'd be on your own and cannot be called a leader. Maxwell defines leadership as influence. Now to become the ultimate leader, we have to first understand that there are five levels. We also need to understand where we stand at the moment and what it takes to get to the next level. Priorities A leader needs to prioritize. Higher you go as a leader, the more you have to prioritize effectiveness, not efficiency. Whether we like it or not, there's always a trade-off between efficiency and effectiveness. Most of the times, the only reason we prioritize is due to emergencies and time deadlines. This is where Maxwell suggests using Parkinson's law to our advantage. Parkinson's law is the idea that work expands so as to fill the time available for its completion. Which basically means if you have a project to do and you give yourself one day, you'll complete it in one day. But if you give yourself one week, the stress and the second guessing will make it so that you need the entire week to complete it. Integrity The most important ingredient of leadership is integrity. Without it, even if people follow you, you will not keep them for very long. And simplest form of integrity is the idea that you have to do what you say. For example, if you told your employer to put customers first, but you put yourself first, not all people will follow you. When we do master it, integrity builds credibility and the more credible you are, the more confidence people place in you. And the easier it is for you to get people to follow you. Creating positive change This is all about the fact that change means growth and without change, an organization can't grow. Yet even though change is very powerful, not everyone embraces it. Change means to travel in uncharted waters, and this causes our insecurities to rise. That is why many people are more comfortable with old problems than with new solutions. Most of the leaders are happy where they are and rather not put in the extra commitment which will definitely disrupt their routines and increase their fear of failure. It gets harder to embrace change, the longer you've been in the game. Problem Solving Maxwell observes that most people don't like problems. Yet people need to first change their perspectives on problems. That is, understand that problems are actually essential for us. For example, an eagle's only obstacle to fly with greater speed and ease is the air. But if we were to take the air away, the eagle wouldn't be able to fly in vacuum at all. The thing that makes it hard to fly is also what allows it to fly. Similarly, our problems allow us to grow. Without it, we'd still be very ignorant and our society wouldn't evolve at all. Leaders need to know how to solve problems and prioritize them. The right way to go about problems is to tackle the source, not the symptom. Attitude Maxwell states that our attitude, although it's not the defining assets that makes us a great leader, without it, we will never reach our full potential. Because life is 10% what happens to us and 90% how we react to it. It's also impossible that a person with a bad attitude can continuously be a success. The leader's attitude helps determine the attitudes of their followers. Great leaders understand that the right attitude will set the right atmosphere which enables the right responses from others. People You always hear companies say that people are their most important assets. Yet not many leaders know how to treat their people. One of the most common mistakes made by leaders is that while leaders develop those under them, some are not comfortable with the fact that those they coach can someday become better than them. This fact scares them so they hold back on coaching them fully. However, 
this problem is solved if we continue to develop ourselves. If we stun their growth, we also stun ours. Techniques to deal with people include letting them contribute, recognizing their achievements and setting clear expectations. Always remember that people come first. Listen to them, assist them. Vision Maxwell teaches us all effective leaders have a vision of what they have to accomplish. That vision becomes the energy behind every effort and the force that pushes through all the problems. The leader with a vision becomes a mission which is contagious and felt among other people until they all begin to rise alongside the leader. People don't follow a dream in itself. They follow the leader who has that dream and the ability to communicate it effectively. Thanks for watching Developing a Leader Within You. To watch our other videos please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Your likes and comments will encourage us to develop more such world-class book summary videos.